Welcome back. If you just tuned in, this is Good Morning Namibia. Well, one of Namibia's most notable daughters, Michelle McLean, <coughs> is back in the country for what was intended to be a brief visit that turned out to be not so brief as a result of COVID-19. Michelle, who hosted this year's Brand Africa Conference in Vintuk, also contracted COVID-19 shortly after the conference. She's now fully recovered and proud to be a COVID-19 survivor and joins us in studio. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Great to be here. <laughs> no, it's an honor having you in the studio this morning. Well, I'm just so grateful to be okay and be alive and my family as well. To yeah. be honest with you, it's just been very, very scary. It's yeah. unprecedented what we're going through. Mm. I mean, this COVID just stops at nothing. Exactly. There's no socioeconomic group that can possibly ever escape it. Mm. So now let, let's speak about your experience with, with COVID. How, how did that go? Well, um, honestly, I really thought when I came to the conference, the UN World uh, tourism conference here um, that you know coming to Namibia everyone is saying you know it, it, people are starting to get sick and mm. and I honestly thought I was going to be totally you know able to avoid getting yeah. sick yeah. Um, but it shows that um, I went back to Swakopmund and for a few days I felt a little bit you know a sore throat and mm. and all of a sudden my mom my father my sister and myself started feeling like really weak and really tired loss of taste and yeah. so it's all the symptoms but we didn't have the um the breathing issues mm. but when i realized how severe this was and how easily people from one day to the next just lost oxygen yeah. i realized that there was a huge need in our community as well to step up mm. you know to try and help people because this just happened so quickly yeah yeah so you you, you were recovering at your parents home in swakopmund yes we were isolated um, together yes how, how, how long were you there was it three weeks yes i was supposed to be home already um in in america on the 29th of june mm. so it's been about four weeks now and like so what what are the lessons learned from this experience well, firstly, that don't take anything for granted, mm. especially your health. Yeah. Um, you are not necessarily bulletproof. Yeah. Doesn't matter how young you are. Um, I got it as severely as my parents in their 80s did. Um, my father's 70, my mom's sick. No, they're not 80. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like you're yeah. 80 when you're dragging yourself along. Yeah. Um, so it, it really is about being vigilant, um, following the protocols, wearing your mask, washing your hands, but also most importantly, stay healthy. Mm. Eat a really, have a really good diet. Um, drink lots of water and, and just make sure that you, you know, that you respect other people's space as well. Yeah, yeah. Now let's, let's speak to the issue that COVID-19 has, has caused so many challenges and problems for us um, as a nation, especially for vulnerable children. Um, so how has the Michelle McLean Children's uh, Trust been um, helping to curb some of these issues? Well, I'm very grateful that through our business community, Katuka Fishing has always supported the Michelle McLean Children Trust mm. um, and Avis Rent a Car. You know, there's so many corporates that really step up. Um, we were able to give $5,000 Namibian dollars to the Siska, Siska Task Force in Swakopmund. Yeah. Together with the mayor and Miss Namibia Chelsea, I went out into the community and was able to um, help a group of people making food mm. that were able to deliver it to vulnerable individuals that are stuck at home, they yeah. don't have the support. They also set up to, uh, in Tamariskia um, Town Hall a crisis COVID centre mm. if the hospitals were overrun. And it's just amazing what people have been doing. Yeah. Um, here in Vintuk, we are supporting a group of people that are finding free oxygen for not only old age homes, mm. but also individuals, so people can actually go to a facility and have free oxygen. Yeah. Because that is probably one of the most critical things about COVID. You don't realize how quickly your oxygen levels dissipate. Mm. Um, and then all of a sudden, you, you're out of it. And, and you, you, know, you end up in hospital on a ventilator. So the oxygen is really, really important right now in our community. Yeah, and I mean, we did have an issue in Namibia as well where we struggled <clears throat> uh, Previously, just when this uh, variant came out where people struggled with finding oxygen, people were literally passing away because there just was no oxygen in hospitals and there was no oxygen in anywhere else. But on a lighter note, uh -huh. let's speak about um, Miss Teen Namibia, Alexis yes. Swat. She's going to be entering Miss Teen uh, Universe in Dubai. How involved are you with her? With her preparations? Well, I've, I've been involved with the Miss Namibia and Miss Team Namibia pageant for, for many, many years, yeah. as you know. And for me, it's all about important that we support our ambassadors. Mm. They are going out into the world. 
They are representing Namibia and we as a community, as a government, uh, individuals and business, we need to support these young people, like, like our athletes in, in Tokyo right yeah. now. Yeah. We need to give them all the support that they deserve because they are representing our country at a very high level. So the Michelle McLean Children Trust gave um, a couple of thousand Namibian dollars mm -hmm. to the Miss Teen for her to be able to attend in Dubai yeah. in October. And it really is all about making sure that we have these wonderful individuals that can showcase mm -hmm. our country, help us to bring investment and tourism back into our country. So having brand ambassadors out there, yeah. I've been one for over 30 years now. Yes. Can you believe it's been 30 years since the Michelle <laughs> oh. McLean Children Trust? That'll be next year. We're celebrating <laughs> really? 30 years. Oh, wow. That's um, a milestone. It's, 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 it's incredible. But I couldn't have done it without the, the support of the community and yeah. individuals and the government. So... Um, we, we always look at our Miss Namibias and, and, and Alexis Swart is going to be representing Namibia so beautifully yeah. uh, um, at and, the Miss Teen Universe. And I'm glad you <coughs> mentioned the importance of that. Now, speaking as a brand ambassador, I know you've just touched it, but can you just elaborate uh, just for our people to understand how important it is um, that we have ambassadors that are spreading the word, promoting tourism, which is what you've been doing as well? Well, as we all know, our tourism industry has plummeted. Mm. The investment into our country, our economy is really, really struggling. The one way that we can really bring eyeballs to Namibia, more people to see Namibia as a safe country to come mm. and visit and invest in, yeah. those ambassadors are so important to us now because it's an unprecedented time. There's no other way we can do this other than promote Namibia, the fact that we're such a safe beautiful country you've got wide open spaces yeah. with a perfect country to go and visit with this COVID issue worldwide mm. so um, you know being an ambassador myself I'm always doing TV shows and 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 being on social media internationally um, and there's a there's actually a very exciting project that is developing right now mm -hmm. and there are many stakeholders in Namibia in the tourism industry uh, investment industry we're all getting together and we are finding some sort of a game plan yeah. to be able to promote Namibia. Yeah, I know. That sounds very, very exciting. Now, Michelle, in June, you were selected as Top Entrepreneur and Humanitarian of the Year by the International Association of Top Professionals. Firstly, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think this is a huge achievement. And then also, what does this award mean to you? Well, you know, receiving an accolade on an international level is, is always, obviously, you, you, you're thrilled with it. But the most important part of it for me is that um, I can utilize any visibility that I have as a brand ambassador mm. for Namibia that highlights the causes. When they say humanitarian of the year, I was able to do raise over 50 million Namibian dollars for causes and children and edu education in Namibia over these years, mm. but not without the help of, you know, wonderful people, individuals, volunteers, the government. So it's, it's about being um, recognized on a level, but you can always give more. Yeah. And I want my children trust to keep going. I mean, mm. we've got a bursary student. Without the visibility that I've had over the years, She's been um, supported by us now for three years. Mm. For, for, she's an accounting student. Now, those kind of projects ongoing, it's important to have you know, that visibility. Yeah. So it's not just about the, the glamour and the... Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, Michelle, I would love for us to continue this interview. Um, but unfortunately, due to time, we're going to have to end this interview. Michelle, any concluding remarks uh, for your viewers this morning? Just to uh, really appeal to the public to please step up and help wherever you can mm. when it comes to oxygen, when it comes to helping individuals that need food that are isolated with the COVID crisis. And to please also remember that we need to promote our country in a positive light. We cannot be talking negatively mm. about our country. We need to... Uh, I implore you, we need investment and tourism in this country. The only way to do it is to highlight Namibia in a positive way. Thank you so much for that, Michelle. Thank you so, so much for joining us this morning. I hope you have a blessed day ahead. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it. That's uh, former Miss Namibia, former Miss Universe and philanthropist, uh, the wonderful, very, very inspiring Michelle McLean. Please do stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break.